Hey YouTube, um, this is an SDL tutorial by Seabear, and yeah, we're going to be going over SDL today. So I'm going to run the program really quick, um, it basically just takes a bitmap and outputs it to the screen. Um, I'll let you guys take a look at the bitmap, basically that's all it is. Um, here's how you want to set up your project. Um, we will be having the source code here. Um, your file needs to be in this area. And you also need an, the SDL uh, dynamically linked library. Um, oh yeah, also, hold on. if you want to run it in your, you know, with your, uh, your application or your exe, it will not run unless you have the SDL um, DLL. Um, so you need that, but also you need all the files associated with it. So it does not have the correct bitmap, so it will not run. So make sure you include that, and everything will work fine. If you if you're using other SDL libraries, you'll find that you're gonna get a lot of D DLLs um, in your pro in your uh, folder, which sort of looks ugly. So what I usually do is I will make if I can find it, a shortcut and then take my shortcut and bring it out and have like this folder be game and then they, whoever's using your product can just come here and click on it and be fine and not have to worry about seeing all that you know ugly stuff. Okay so now that we're done with that um, the most important thing you want to do is include scl.h I'm not going to be going over the installation, but if you would like to look at a um, tutorial for that, there's a very good uh, one online called Lazy. It's at lazyfoo.net. That's L-A-Z-Y-F-O-O.net. Okay, so uh, you should be familiar with C++ already in at least a couple months. I don't know how good you guys are, but you should you should know a lot of things like pointers, structures, uh, control statements, um, just stuff like that. Um, but this is a bit this is a beginner tutorial for graphics and multimedia software using C++. So anyway, um, the most important thing right now in your main function is to uh, put this into its arguments. This is for command line arguments. It just allows SDL to run without it. You'll see, like if I change something like that, it won't run. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if this is right, but I think you can do this. No, apparently not. Okay, just put two asterisks right there. And it'll run. Anyway, so um, usually my how I fix this problem if I don't like that is I'll I'll make a macro like like use SDL and then just take that and put it in there that way I can just do this and it'll be nice and clean and then so I, I you know always know like I don't have to remember that I can just write use SDL and it'll work out fine. So anyway, um, next we will initialize SDL. This initializes everything, obviously, by its name. And most times you want to use like an initialization function um, and just put all this stuff in there, like uh, initializing the screen, which we will go over now. Um, an SDL surface um, is a surface on which you draw a bitmap or or in this case the screen um, I usually name it buffer but for this tutorial I've been I'm doing screen um, so you set this equal to a function um, called SDL set video mode this is the height no that's the width this is the height this would be um, the amount of bits that it draws I'm pretty sure if I do 8, you might see a difference. See how it's sort of like looking a little bit different? 
how there's like a it looks a little bit more grainy and old looking and then if I do 32 it looks nicer so that's what that does um, I didn't know that for a long time and I was sort of messing up my stuff because I put 8 anyway so that's uh, that's how it renders um, the bits I believe next is double buffering and stuff that's not really important I mean it's important but you don't really need to know what it does per se and there's plenty of other tutorials like I said that you can watch and they will explain that um, next um, I just made a string um, of a file name to show that you can load a file name like that so here's our file name it's you know just cb.bitmap and you see we have that right there and we're putting it into this string and then making an SDL surface pointer to a to a variable called bitmap <coughs> and then that is equal to SDL load bitmap and then the file name and then converting it to a C string because um, load SDL load bitmap takes C strings as the argument um, you could also do it like this and you should get the same result without having to do dot c string yep. so you can use the standard c approach or the c++ approach i usually uh... i use the c++ approach because there's a lot of things with strings that you can do like uh... it makes it easier to add uh, like append things to the, the uh, to the front of a string because of polymorphism and crap like that so anyway um yeah so that is loading the bitmap into a surface next we're making an SDL rectangle or rect it's a structure that holds an integer called x y um, and then uh, width and height. Um, basically, it just—it's it, a good way of keeping track of objects because you know their positions in x and y, as well as their width and height. This one right here, basically, um, this is where this is. This keeps track of where our bitmap is on the screen and we will be using it later. It, it basically just draws it to the center of the screen. It takes the screen's width and subtracts it from the bitmap's width and then divides it by two. Same thing for the height and yeah. So next we have bool, a boolean for quit and that is equal to false which means the while loop will run indefinitely until it is equal to true. And that comes into play in our next part. So we have an SDL event and an SDL event is key uh, checks for mouse input or keyboard input, and you know that's important for games and stuff. So here's where we check for events. Basically, it takes the address of the event, and then I don't know. It's just checking for events. I can't really go too in depth, and then it switches between the event dot type I know there's a couple I can't quite remember um, but uh, one of which is key down there's also key up um, but we'll just be going through these two SDL quit means when say there's something like that um, an X you know it X's out the window because otherwise if I I'm not going to do it because it's going to keep running, but you get the point when you when you press the X button it quits. It makes quit equal true and then get out of the program. And then same thing for it says key down escape. So if I press escape it closes. And uh yeah, so that that cl you need that in everything because um otherwise your program will run and you won't be able to get out of it. And uh yeah, so the next part clears the buffer 
it's basically SDL fill wrecked and then it takes the screen I can't quite remember what the second part does um, in the second argument um, yeah I can find out real quick I'm not sure oh I guess it it takes a rect um, I guess we didn't give any rect okay so the next part is the color that you wish and it is red, green, and blue. 